executed the commands where you have executed you want to install linux operating system dual boot separate machine basic commands okay who are absent in the previous class just ask your friends notes and just check it and mainly two topics we have discussed one is the architecture okay that is also important where you need to draw the diagram and explain then features of unix unix operating system okay so like normally they last question on architecture so you should able to draw the diagram and you need to explain what is kernel what is shell so how with files system calls so you need to explain in brief about this Operating system to perform any of the project. 
that is one environment but actually it is not designed for personal use like windows it is mainly used for multi user then second one is time sharing what do you mean by time sharing so here many users connected to one computer that means there is only one main i can call it as server i have a tag okay so it is using time sharing environment so that is whenever if the project is given okay if that particular project should be completed by in a coordinated manner with multiple users so in that case we can go with a time sharing environment where you can see so there are uh, different users user 1 Okay, but there is only one server connected to all the terminals, and whatever the project they have planned, so they can divide that in terms of module by, okay, and it can be done. And what about the execution of that? So here there is only one CPU, okay. So in that case, it requires to give time slot. So you just always remember what I am saying. How CPU is going to run multiple tasks, okay? So just remember round robin. Scheduling. Okay, it is going to divide the CPU time into number of time intervals that you call it as quantum. Okay, it is equal to one or two. So every two seconds, it is going to first run the job one. Okay, immediately it is going to interrupt. Even though if it is not completed its its task, it is going to interrupt and start with the job job three. Okay, then it may start once again back the first job where it is. it was interrupted from there it is going to continue so this is how the time time sharing is going to take place okay and also it is an example for multitasking hmm so then you ask for any suggestion that i can so please by monday you just try to clear okay and another environment is client server environment so everybody knows what is client server so example of your internet okay so if your laptop is connected to internet so your device is going to be acting as a client where it is going to request some particular information to the server okay so in that case also you can use unix environment or unix operating system just note down so this topic it is not available in the textbook just note down what is the syllabus just note down i'll explain one by one the first one is personal computer the second one is time sharing environment and the third one is client server environment so we'll start with the personal environment so as i already explained so originally unix it is designed for multi user environment where many users are installed unix on their personal computer so because of this so it can be used even in personal uh, computers so that is the personal environment how they can use this operating system Okay, it is not required any diagram for this. Next one is time sharing. Okay, so what do you mean by time sharing? So in time sharing environment, many users are connected to one or more computers. So you can just observe there is a diagram. So where there is a central computer, this is a central computer, and for this computer, you can see all other terminals are connected. But you can just observe there is no CPU here. it is just a terminal okay the screen and there is a printer shared printer and storage everything it is shared that means whenever if the resources are shared so if multiple 
yeah, at each of the terminal if the users are requesting particular task so in that case it has to give the uh, time slot the cpu time slot or it may be if it requires to get the data from the storage so it requires that particular device it, it has to give the time slot so for each how i explained about the round robin in the same manner it is going to work so that is many users connected to one or more computers the output devices such as you can give example output device printer of the storage devices and these are all shared by the whatever the components you can see here the blue color so it is all shared by the multiple users okay so this is one type of environment where you can use the uh, unix operating system okay so from this diagram you can easily understand that all the computing storing of the information processing everything it is done at the central computer okay so this is just a monitor you can just connect to the server then only so i cannot use the term server here just remember central computer okay so which are the terminals it is connected to this device so that can access the information or if it requires to execute something that can be done and the result can be sent to the uh, specified user so at each terminal there will be user it is an example this this diagram is an example of multi users okay but your thing is it is not dedicated they don't have dedicated resources it is shared among all the users so there are some resources it has to give the time sharing mechanism example printer okay if more than one user want to print the document so it is not possible at the same time okay concurrently it is not possible to print the multiple document so it it has to give the time slots okay maybe first 10 seconds it is allotted to this particular device after completion of that task it is given to next terminal so like that it is going to share the resources so how it is sharing the resources in the form of time information okay time slots so you just remember the time quantum is given to each of the device and it is going to share the resources so this is about the time environment time sharing environment so next we have client server environment <coughs> client server environment what do you mean by client server environment so which are the devices we call it as client so you can just observe the terminals we call it as client okay so slowly the mechanism of sharing or computing something it is changed so they have designed the form of client server environment where the client will be requesting some information or the resources the server is going to respond for the request okay it will process the request and it is going to send the responses so here in client server environment split the computing function between the central computer and the user computer okay so what is the meaning of this split the computing function that means whatever the task to be performed it is going to be split between the the main computer and also the user computers okay so here what do you mean by client systems so it can be a just no, the normal the desktop systems or it may be a workstations so or called client systems and the main the central computer we call it as a server so along with the server you can see the the storage devices where it can store the data that are connected by all these devices okay and also the printers okay so here there is no much changes between these two time sharing and uh, client server mechanism it is only with respect to the coordination okay so this type of environment normally you will be going through whenever it the project to be uh, completed with a group of uh, team so in that case you are going with the time sharing okay so if it is in terms of just sharing the information getting the resources so that can be done using client server environment so unix structure we have already discussed okay so next we'll move on to the commands 
of command structure. So yesterday in brief we have already discussed what is the syntax of commands, how to represent. Okay, so we'll just go in detail. Note down. So it is not just just note down command structure. Take the heading command structure. So you should be very familiar with the uh, technical terms. What do you mean by shell prompt? Okay, where you are going to enter the command. So this dollar symbol followed by whatever word you are going to type here. So this is called as shell prompt. Followed by what you are typing, that is called as command. So after this, you have some other options. We'll look into those options now. And also, the command prompt it is also called command line. Okay, command. To so where it is going to do the command. Shell prompt, you can also call it as command line. Okay, don't get confused. So, what are the information you are going to specify in the command? It is not just command, you can give some other options also. So, one is the verb. Okay, let me just first take this syntax. This is the syntax you need to follow for giving the command. First, write on this. Later, I will go to this slide. Dollar, that is the prompt, verb, space. Okay, in square bracket, you specify iPhone options. So, it can be a one option or it can have multiple options. Then, space followed by, you are going to specify the arguments. So, once again, argument can be a single argument or it can be a multiple arguments. So example, you can just write this also. So work options, it is same. Only thing is here it is expanded with the more number of arguments. Okay, so what is verb indicates here? It is nothing but name of the command. Okay, verb indicates the name of the command. Then options indicates, so always the options are preceded with two sides. That is either minus, not tell that minus it should be iPhone or plus. Okay, always the option should proceed with these sign. Okay, so if you are not given these sign, so it is not possible to interpret that as an option. Okay, you will get an error. So invalid option or some other error message you are going to get. Okay, just remember always you need to specify the the sign when you are specifying the options then followed by arguments okay it can have more than one argument so argument can be like more information or object identifier or name of the files when you want to example if you want to uh, take example of cat concatenation okay. so you can give more than one file in here so that is you are going to take the content from file one to Five, or you can just say CP. Yesterday we have taken no? CP. Five. It can have more than one arguments. So what are these arguments? Normally, name of the files. Okay, always the arguments are indicated as the name of the files. And options it is optional. If you want, depending on your requirement, how you want to get the output, you can specify the options. If it is not required, you can just keep that directly specify the argument. Okay, it works fine for that. So once again, I will go back what is how to represent command all. Okay, so the first one is verb. It is nothing but it is a command, command name, then options. So what are the options you can give for each of the command? How we are going to check? Yesterday I was explaining. How we'll check the details of the commands? Does Ashita? How you can check the how we are going to check the details of the command? So I don't know what is it. How you can get the manual? Man, man, man. Okay. So that is nothing but you are going to get the 
manual information of that particular command. Yes. So when you want to learn the complete details of that particular command, you just go with this basic manual that is supported in the Unix operating system. Okay, just specify man command followed by the whichever the command you want to do. So where you are going to get in details because whatever I explained here, I have just explained few options. Okay, if you want to know what is minus a, you can just give minus a. Okay, minus no comma, just minus K, minus C. Okay, there are so many options. What are the options tells? So you can just check it using manual. Okay, today I'll explain once again in detail how this manual works, what and all information it contains, the headings. Okay, so just time being, I'll, I'm just quitting from that. Yes. Okay, you can just note down some examples. Just note down. The first example is ls minus l node. So here, which is command? Ls is the command. This option. Arguments, nothing but file. Okay. So now in case if I want to know the complete detail of this file, so you need to give this option, minus L. So where it is going to give the complete information, what are the permissions given, where it is created, so all that complete details you are going to create. Okay. So the same thing output is already, it is shown there, you can just take that output. So in the exam if they ask with respect to particular comments, you should give the proper example. Okay. So this is the output of this command. Okay. So minus L option list all attributes of the file. In the next class, we are going to start the file information, file chapter. Okay. Where you are going to learn what are the attributes and all those things. Okay. You can just see this is the output of this command where it is showing the permission. So what is R indicates read, write. Okay. X indicates execute. These are all the permission given to this particular file okay so in that once again there is a three category can you see here so rwx okay rwx why it is repeating so that is because so which type of group of users can get this permission okay the group, uh, users can be categorized into different categories okay we'll just discuss that in the later class so one so what is this one indicates? So I had one particular command where you can get the heading. So just a minute. You write the next one. So that is dollar ls minus l minus a minus t. Okay. So, dollar ls minus l minus a minus a. It is not minus. You can just tell it as hyphen followed by name of the file. So, this is also accessible. And you can just rewrite this as with ls or la t and name of the file. So this is also acceptable. You can just merge all the options and you can represent like this. So just checking how to get the headings. Just a moment.
okay you can just listen here you can just observe here what are the details you are getting the first one manual that is man command what are the information it is going to specify you can just write it here man command so where you are going to get the name of the command then synopsis then description followed by the it is not like compulsory for all the command some of the command it can have some other information also okay okay so normally we will not use all these options but as stop your discussion okay t what is this minus t i have used no that what is t stands for here so sort by modify modification time okay that is whichever the file that is modified let us that will be displayed first okay so like this you can use so many options only thing is you should know so or you should remember how you can use these so there is exit status then author details reporting box okay so these are all general information it is not related to ls it is general information but uh, most important is options okay so you can see here uh, the cases the alphabet cases if it is small s what it indicates capital s so sort by file size if it is small s it indicates the size okay so that means if you just give ls you won't get all this detail you will be just getting the details of the file if you want to know what is the size of the file so you need to specify minus s yes. that is hyphen s okay if you want to reverse the sorting order that means which is the file that is modified like uh, older one so that will be displayed first so that is indicated with minus r you can just write one or two normally we'll use minus minus l you can just write it what is minus l indicates use a long listing format that means you are going to get the complete information of the uh, file then i indicates i node so what is i node have you heard i node so whenever if any file is created immediately for each of the file there is an identification number assigned okay so there is one separate chapter about how this i node is created how i nodes are managed okay we will discuss that part later normally we will not use all the things known so l you can use s capital s okay you can use t small t so like that you can just remember at least four to five four to five options okay okay so file arguments how to specify the file arguments so in unix commands use file names as argument i already told so after options whatever you are going to specify that is considered as file name okay so file names are nothing but it is an argument to the command what do you mean by argument to the command what do you mean by arguments in c program parameters okay that means that is given as a input to that particular function we will pass parameters now to function have you created any functions user defined functions yes ah so that is an input to the function okay with the help of that input it will be able to compute or calculate whatever you need or whatever it is specified in the function similarly so here here whatever the input or the file name or the argument you are going to specify that is taken as an input to the command okay so that command is applied to that particular argument 
एग्जाम्पल सो एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट यूज एल एस जस्ट ऑफ दर्ज आउटपुट ओके आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग लिस्टिंग द फाइल्स ओके सो आई विल गो विथ एल एस माइनस एल और आई कैन ओके माइनस एल ओके वॉट एपन आई हैव जस्ट यूज आई हैव नॉट गिवन एनी आर्ग्यूमेंट कैन यू चेक द फर्स्ट आउटपुट इज जस्ट अ कमांड then later i have given option okay so what happened after specifying this option it is listing all the file details along with the detailed information okay along with the detailed information so we'll look into each of these column okay how it works what is the information it is stored later so next now along with the ls ls minus l i'll just specify one particular file here okay h dot c okay h dot c what happened how you can differentiate after specifying the argument differentiate the output what is this command even comment line also written here see ash can be used for writing the comment line okay this is the comment line and this is the command what is this indicates what you can see from this command multiple arguments okay you are specifying multiple arguments so before i have just given one particular file name but here i am just specifying multiple file name as a argument okay then you will be getting the details of this files if you want you can just check it that also okay 
so what else you can take list so you need to give the proper syntax the spaces list dot txt got it okay very simple commands what is the next command what is the next command tells rm rm stands for remove so remove the file and the next one is copy so copy the content of this particular file to this file so let's do that let me just first copy the content but you have to check the content now what is there so there is one editor called vi editor okay so where you can type your program and you can save it so vi i'll just open it okay so there is nothing written here in this file only file is created okay i'll just start working with this editor you need to know some of the key how to open this file and how to save it okay so now it is if you want to enter any text you need to press i okay so that you can add the content you need to press escape then shift colon okay now i want to save and quit so save and quit you need to write w q so uh, if it is just q it is going to exit from this editor if you want to save the content and quit you need to type w q shift colon w q okay so now i'll just type something if you want to see just open that file h dot c okay so whatever the content i have typed it is there so now what we'll do we'll try to create one file or copy this cat h dot c to so i'll just create some text file so what is happening there is no such file okay that means that this file is not existing so now what you can do is you can create one more file so vi using even cat command also you can create it okay so i don't want to do or type anything here i'll be just saving it as a empty file so now what i'll do i have two files okay one is h.c where it contains some information now i want to copy that content to this newly created file okay so just use cp command then h.c then dot txt if command is executed successfully it will come back to the command prompt so if any error immediately you will get the error are you getting the just check the previous command so there was no file existing so you got error that is no such file or directory okay so after that i have created this now this content is copied to this file so if you want to check you can just use that command and type h h dot t h t can you see the content is copied okay is it clear so next remove rm so now i want to remove the file what do you mean by remove the file file or directory you this can be applied even for directory yesterday i showed how to create the directory yes so which file shall i remove i'll just remove this whatever i have created remove hs.txt okay if file is removed successfully so it will the cursor will come back to the command prompt okay you can just try try to open 
that file you should get an error okay because it is removed that file is removed okay so like this you can even you can remove multiple files okay so here i have just removed only one file you can specify multiple files here which dot c then hello dot c So it is open the content. Let me just check it. So it is not removed. One file name here. Okay, so it is removed. Then you can just try to give the file name that is h dot c. Okay, so that is also removed. You can just remove only one file name. Actually, it is possible. I don't know why I am getting error here. Okay. Next exceptions. When you are representing the commands, so what are the things you need to remember? You can just go through some of the commands I have already specified. How you need to specify? So yesterday I was explaining if you are representing using capital letter L or if you are using L space then S. Okay, so these are all not the correct syntax. You need to give the proper syntax. So. Here we have tried so many commands. Okay, so where you can go with the options, not mandatorily. If you are interested, you can give the options and arguments. Otherwise, also the command it is going to works fine. So why you need arguments and options? Depending on your interest. Okay, so why I want to bother all the files if I am interested only in a particular file? So in that case, you need to specify the arguments. Okay, and if you are interested in any of the particular information with respect to that argument, you can specify the options. Okay, clear. Okay, so similarly, yesterday we have just checked about the date command. So how date information can be displayed? So this is the syntax for that. And if you want to know what are the options you can give with respect to date command, so once again go with the man command and try it. I will just show some of the commands, options. Is it, I have written this syntax where it is going to display the uh, current system date and time. So what are the options you can use? So the normal, okay, date and time. If you are interested in only to know the month, you, then you have to specify date, then by you need to specify the options, plus, okay, percentage M. What is the output you are going to expect from this? Hmm? Month, okay, it is going to specify month, what is 10? October, okay, similarly if you want to know Okay, so that is just in terms of words, okay, that is in the form of numbers. If you want to put together, okay, you can just combine the option date followed by plus percentage plus percentage, you can specify M. Okay. So there is a syntax mistake.
so however you want you can get the information so that is one thing you can just try with d there are different options minus d okay not minus d it's not coming So you just check it. Go to man and type date. Okay. So you can give minus d, minus f. Okay. Then minus r, capital R. And you should be knowing what is the output of that. U. Okay. And these are the different other options you can specify. Okay. You just go through these options by yourself. Okay. even i think there are some online compilers are available i want you people to just check it okay if not i will be sharing in the next class so next class we'll focus completely on files how to create files what are the options you can specify i think i want the attendance only few students on the back side you just write